How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Fox 2005. Big news, we have a rumour that has just recently surfaced about the first DLC expansion for Horizon 5 being in testing. We're going to discuss that and we also have updated results on the current Horizon World Cup within Horizon 5. If you enjoy update videos like this guys, please do consider smashing the like button. Let's go for a thousand likes. Let's discuss the most recent rumour. This rumour comes at a strange time because you may have seen a couple of days ago I did a video solely talking about the first expansion expansion and when we can expect it. I showed you the entire Forza timeline and when we can expect the expansion to release based on when the previous ones were released and I personally came to the conclusion that I'm not surprised we haven't gotten it yet but I'm expecting it very soon and this rumour adds up with that. There's a Twitter account called Illumia Italia. He specialises in sort of Microsoft game, Windows, just Xbox sort of Game Pass games in general. He put out a tweet very recently that says the following. Microsoft has started testing Woodstock underscore DLC underscore flight through the Xbox Insider Hub, which means that Forza Horizon 5 DLC 1 is soon. Let me break this down for people who don't know. Woodstock is the code name for Forza Horizon 5. We know this because before Horizon 5 was even released, Nvidia had a leak where all of the code names related to Horizon 5 were leaked. As we can see here, Project Woodstock, which is Forza Horizon 5, and then we have Project Nightlight, Ventura, and Upside Down. These three are presumably all the expansions. But what this says is it says that the Woodstock DLC, which is a Forza Horizon 5 DLC, um, is in the Xbox Insider Hub and it's going through flighting. Now the word flight also sort of means test. It's not a very common word for it, which is why it may confuse some people, but that is exactly what flight means. Woodstock DLC test and it's being done within the Xbox Insider Hub. What does this tell us? Well, it tells us that something Forza Horizon 5 DLC related is being tested and is obviously in full working order. Whether that's going to be a first expansion or not, we don't know. We can presume that it is. We will have to wait and see, but just as an example, I'm going to give you a bit of behind the scenes information here. Back in Forza Horizon 4, Super 7 was obviously a new feature and I got early access to this Super 7 feature. When you get early access to something like this, it can can be called flighting that's what it means and it also can be done through the xbox insider hub so to hear that there is a forza horizon 5 dlc being tested through the xbox insider hub is not a surprise to me that sounds very realistic and i believe that this may be true now in my honest opinion even though it does seem like the expansion is being tested within the xbox insider hub i don't really think that means that it's still coming very soon yes we might hear about it next week we might hear about it next month we might hear about it in two months there's no way of knowing yes it's a good sign it's being tested i'm sure we can get our hopes up that it's not in the distant future but I'm still going to stand my, with my opinion that it could be still a couple of months before we even hear anything about it. It's a possibility, but that's what I think. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about the first expansion. Are you expecting it within the next month, just like shown in this rumour? And give me your best guess as to what the first expansion is going to be. Let's see if anybody gets it right. Now, we don't know exactly what the first expansion is going to be. We know absolutely nothing about it. However, we do know that the first expansion is always a realistic one and the second expansion is always a bit goofy, um, like the Hot Wheels and the Lego. So what we can expect for the first expansion is something realistic and we can also expect a new feature within that expansion. Now, for the people who don't know, the first expansion of every Horizon game is always a way to test new features. Forza Horizon 3 had Blizzard Mountain. That was their way of testing snow for Horizon 4. Forza Horizon 4's first expansion, Fortune Island, had Trailblazers. That was their way of testing Trailblazers for Horizon 5. So we can probably expect some kind of new feature, new implementation within the first expansion, which we're getting soon, that is a test for potentially Horizon 6. We don't know what it's going to be, but we can expect something new to the game, something fresh within this expansion, which is very cool to hear. Other than that, we don't really know anything about it. Now, as I said, update five is obviously next week, which means that there's only one week left of update four, which means one week left of the Horizon World Cup. We have the latest results in, so we are three weeks in with one week left, and the current results, the updated results of who's winning, are the following. Japan are still winning, however they have lost a bit of the lead down to 23%. France have somehow managed to break through up to second place with almost 18.8%. The UK is struggling quite a bit down at 15% and Germany have 
lost their entire lead from second place all the way down to 15.6%. You may remember last week Germany managed to get to second place which was quite close to the UK at 17% and France was all the way down at 14 but within just one week, France are all the way up to second place. So it makes me wonder what's going to be the best car to use for the fourth week. The festival playlist obviously reset today if you're watching this on a Thursday. So we have one more week to use these cars on the festival playlist. If the UK has the upper hand and the best car for this week, we could very well see UK crawl back, maybe get to second place. My honest opinion is I think Japan is going to win. We'll find out a week from now, obviously, but as we can see at the moment, France has pulled it back. Let's see how the last week goes. As I've mentioned earlier, guys, update five is next week, so you can expect plenty of videos from me explaining everything that's going on expansion-wise and update-wise. Make sure to stay subscribed if you don't want to miss any of that. Anyway, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed it. We'd much appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all later.